10 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm in a different place to try to photograph the shorebirds once again. So I was here last year. I don't know if you saw the video, but you can check it out in the link in the description. But uh, a really great place for photographing curlews. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a little bit too early, but hopefully there's going to be some curlew tonight. position way before the light so everything gets settled down before the birds arrive I thought I was safe here but the high tide is coming in really <laughs> close in worst case I have to move and that is quite a job It came in really, really fast, but now I think I'm safe. I'm almost on on the tip of the edge of the where the grass is starting. So hopefully we won't come this far here. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game. Bar tail got wet. I didn't have the time to vlog because I suddenly I just saw that it was outside in this little water uh, feeding. So I was uh, able to get one picture, but it's a little bit too far away. But it disappeared too quick behind the stone, so I, the video wasn't that good. And I hoped it will work it say itself a little bit closer, but suddenly it just flew away. It was all by himself. And they are more vulnerable when they are alone, so I'm guessing they are more aware of the environment. Something did land. 50, 60 meters. A little bit on the other other edge it was too far, so I couldn't see what it was. Let's see if I can try to use my camera to find out what what the birds are. <laughs> them now it's a flock of ringed plovers and little stints they are about 50 meters from me too far to take any pictures but uh, hopefully they come uh, near the edge of the water and come around towards me that's the hope though 
but uh, yeah, just have to wait and see. But a uh, good news is that the plovers and the little stint flock, they are on, the, on their way to me here. So hopefully, hopefully it will come closer. I landed two curlings around 10 meters from me, but I pointed the lens in the wrong direction. I tried to move as slowly as possible, but either they just decided not to be in that area or I scared with my movement, the small movement. That I don't know, but they are in the same side as the plover was earlier. The light is starting to get really, really low, so I'm starting to lose hope to stay here for any pictures. I managed to get some of the plover, but yeah. I think I just have to realize that this is not going to be the same same day as last time. I was just about to talk to you guys and suddenly a green shack landed just in front of me. Oh, the day starts great. Uh, this is day two. Uh, last time I was here was a little bit frustrated. was a little bit frustrating for me because there was some bird birds but they landed in areas where it was either really far away or uh, there was some curlew that actually landed around 10 meters from my blind but I, even though I, I tried to move my lens as slow as possible they flew away and just moved to a different spot which was so much longer away so i was a little bit frustrating that everything was a little bit off but uh, i'm back and hopefully uh, this time here i'm going to be a little bit more lucky with the birds actually <laughs> going out to get nothing is more calming than getting something it's not always that i get the opportunity to photograph and come home with a single photograph. It's wild nature and you never know how, uh, where the birds are landing and... It's a bit uh, more overcast now, it's not that beautiful light and uh, it's a little bit more windy as well. But it's good, I have uh, the blind here with me. birds flying over my head all the time. <laughs> there are some shell duck ducklings just outside my window. They are not aware of the hide. That is so cool. The adult uh, shell duck is really really beautiful but I cannot see them. Only these ducklings. So cool to watch them. It's just landed curlew. So nice. They landed a little bit further away 
big sunny day I land just before me and now I think they're coming this way here oh. Oh, oh, oh. the curlew is such a beautiful bird one of the larger shorebirds if not the largest uh, shorebird that we have here in Norway I need to go. Oh, did you see that? That was so cool. Now the water you can see here is... Oh, I need to, to drag my tent because all of the area where I laid is filled with water. But what an amazing, amazing day. I didn't think this one, uh, this one uh, was going to be a good day either as the last day. But suddenly the curlew appeared and some uh, red um, green shank appeared and the really really cool part was adult curlew I have not photographed that so that was so cool and I think I got some great action shot as well when it's pruning and washing himself and uh, oh yeah and the light was like perfect at that moment I felt so lucky so lucky time to go now it's starting to rain i feel a little bit dripping and if you are new here to this channel i hope you consider subscribing and hit that bell button and we'll get a notification every time i upload a new video and i will see you in the next one bye